Hey YouTube, this is FineTech. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to monitor both the video and the audio coming out of your stream. And also I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks to improve your video conferencing techniques using OBS. So the first thing that I recommend you do is try and share your video. And it is incredibly simple to do on OBS. All you have to do is find the portion of the program that shows everything that you've composited together for your stream. Right click on that and then either select full screen projector or windowed projector full screen one will take up the entire screen and the window projector will show a little window just like this. You can resize it. You can make it full screen. For this purpose, I'm going to go and share a full screen projector and choose my monitor right up there. Everything that comes out of OBS is going to be projected right up here. If I make a change here, it'll also reflect right up there. And even if I change one of these scenes, it also switches up there. So that's really cool and all, but you also need to be able to monitor your audio just to make sure that you're not too high or not too low. So the way that you do that is click on the settings icon next to any of the video devices in your mixer, then go to advanced audio properties. And here there's a lot of different options that you can change like the volume, the delay that you have on the microphone, just to make sure that all your devices are synced up. But what's really important here is audio monitoring. So select the device that you want to monitor and then click on the button where it says monitor off and then change that to monitor. And as you can see, you need to be very careful that your speakers are set to either really low volume or you decide to do something like headphones. It does create a very loud and horrible reverb. So I'm gonna turn my speakers way down and try that again. Everything that I say, you can hear right on the speakers. Now it's the thing that I think is really useful for video conferencing. You can literally take everything from OBS and put it on a screen. And a lot of these video conferencing apps like Discord, Skype, Google Hangouts, they all allow you to share your screen. Let's say you wanna add in your face or you want to be able to switch easily between a full screen or just your desktop. As you might know, if you've watched my OBS tutorial, that is incredibly easy to do. So what I always recommend doing is popping over to scene collection, clicking on new, add in a scene or your webcam only, maybe your web cam and desktop and possibly your desktop only. And in each of these scenes, you can add in for video only my cam link right up here. For webcam and desktop, I'm going to add in the cam link and then I'm going to add in a display capture and I'm going to set the display capture for this one over to the display that I have right here. Then I'm going to bring the video capture device on top of display capture and make it a bit smaller just so that whenever you're video conferencing, you can see both the face and the desktop. Then I'm just going to add in my desktop, add in that existing display capture device. If you want more detailed information on how to put together a scene, I highly recommend you watch my 17 minute long OBS tutorial. It is just packed full of information. Now what you can do again is go and set that full screen projector over to the display that you want. Now open up Skype or whatever other application you want to use and then go down to wherever you can share your screen. And then you can select that screen that you set as your full screen projector. So now if I share that out on Skype, you can see all of my videos video right here. And let's say I wanted to be able to go and then show somebody what I'm doing on my screen. I can click on webcam and desktop. And as you can see right on Skype, you can see both my face cam and everything else I have in OBS. And I know that XSplit has this feature. You can take the output and put it into a different application. That costs a lot of money. OBS is free software. So just using this feature that honestly was only intended for monitoring, you can honestly open yourself up to a lot more capability. So I honestly think that this feature is pretty awesome. I hope that you enjoyed watching. Stay safe during this outbreak. I hope that I can help entertain you and make your stay-at-home work experience as best as possible. Catch you all later.